Here we are in Northern California to talk about swales and berms with Josh Salins and this beautiful property here in uh, Mendocino, California area. Hi, Josh. Hello. So I uh, graduated from permaculture in 1998 and uh, left there desiring to work land and work with water and uh, looked to Northern California and uh, uh, Mendocino County and my broker found this place that has a three acre pond and this amazing hillside that is, on, is, is to the east of it, to the north. Is there a lot of runoff here of water? So there's a lot of rainfall in, here, in this district anyway and on top of that you have water rushing down this hillside at, at great neck speed which has created this cut in the hillside. Water rushing over, landing and cutting back the earth creates these cuts. So working with the USDA in, in uh, county, uh, we uh, decided on a wattle uh, dam here that slows down the water, planted with a lot of willow, as willow will root quickly and grow large <clears throat> and slow the soil erosion that's coming off this hill. Uh, also planted the willow up Growing up the sides of the... So those are all willow where your right hand is up right there, here. yeah? I'll come. There, here it is. here it is, willows. folks. There was, but it hasn't been tended well enough to live. Mm -hmm. And then on both sides of the cut, a run of willow on the horizontal pinned in on the, on the vertical willows. And does that stop the flow of water? Or no, no, no. What it does is it, is it weaves rooting ah. into that, which uh -huh. eventually as soil builds up on the, on the cut, because you've slowed down the water here. So it's kind of like a delta of that soil. That soil will build up and become part of the soil for that willow. Wow. And it will start stitching itself back together, basically. What's some the of the problem, others? Yeah, the problem go ahead. was that the water was still coming over the hillside ah, too quickly. Got it. So the cameraman and I, Art and I, came up with a swale, just an on-contour dish. And that's further up the hill. That's just shy of this first pine tree on the left here that I'm pointing to. So there's a swale just before the water comes over the edge and picks up more speed. Uh, we built See that, that folks? We built a 150-yard uh, swale there, so it captures the water, lets it sink uh -huh. into the soil, and then the bee berm that we put the soil on, the kind of wall, that we planted trees on. We planted actually cherry, a form of cherry there, and mm -hmm. that then roots and holds onto water and right. keeps soil from coming down. So it's, do, these, do these fix, do they fix nitrogen too? Uh, they could, uh, but more importantly, there was this, the, the, the swale was to slow the water down again. So Got we it. slowed the water down so it didn't come over the side too much. But then what we were saw, see, saw that year was it was eroding quickly. Uh -huh. So it was being still hit by fast moving water. So we went above that last pine tree up on the hill that's newly planted and did another swale and berm. Uh -huh. uh, and this is right now at Is that the where the oaks are? Near yeah, the oaks? Just before the oaks. Uh -huh. place, um, so that there's very little downslope to the water, very much distance anyway for it to pick up much speed. And we were able to slow the water greatly there before it came over the banks and then filled this swale. And then, so this one is not getting pounded. It's not getting any uh -huh. worse at this point. So yeah. could you plant, you could theoretically plant more trees there and definitely need more willow. really add. Now that water's flowing here, I would plant that willow again so that yet yeah, that weaving and, 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 and you know, healing uh -huh. can, can continue. It's continuing with this baby. This is looking really nice. It's a whole new year of shoots. Yeah, it looks great. Come off the willows. So that's real hopeful that that's, that's slowing the pace of, of silt going into the pond. We're right here, just shy of the pond. We're and that's a resource that, Art will turn yeah. around at the end of this and show that we're only 100 feet. Yes, from, thank you, Josh. So from the pond. So really, the essence of this is quite, to quite the, the flow. Going into the pond. So permaculture is about creating flow, then, too. Permaculture is about slowing down flow, ah. so you don't lose soil. Yes. We were losing soil in this whole mountain mm -hmm. side into the pond because we, the water was moving too fast. Nice. Well, thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. Let me take a quick look over Stop. here. Stop.